Hello, I am Cass. In this video we have a Mi 13 Lite phone. This phone has the following problems. The touch screen does not work. The phone does not charge. Sometimes it can charge. The phone turns off by itself. Based on the symptoms, then this phone has a processor failure. That is the processor has become unsoldered from the phone's motherboard. So in this video I will show you the repair of this phone, video instructions for reballing, i.e. how to remove and unsolder the processor from the board and how to put it back. The problem is that the processor on this phone is in a compound, i.e. the processor is filled with a special substance. Next in the video you will see what a compound, it complicates the repair and remove of the processor. On the back cover of the phone you can see the phone model M2101K9AG, and so we begin the repair. To disassemble the phone we need to heat the phone. We heat the phone on the separator. The heating temperature is 120 degrees. We heat the back cover of the phone. The phone is already hot. For disassembly we use such a mediator. We also need ethyl alcohol. We pry off the back cover of the phone with a mediator. Next we use the film from the protective glass, dip it in alcohol, and begin to separate the back cover of the phone. We pry up the back cover of the phone around the edges, and also periodically add alcohol to the film. This will make it easier to separate the back cover. Lifts the lid, and this is what the phone looks like with the lid disassembled. Next unscrew all the screws on the upper motherboard. Next we remove the plastic protective screen, and under it we see the phone's motherboard. We disconnect all flex cables on the board. We also disconnect two coaxial cables. Disable the front-facing camera. Next, we pry up the board in order to remove it from the phone. They removed the board from the phone. This is what the phone board looks like. Under this copper sticker is the processor and memory of the phone. So now I'll peel off this sticker. I fix the board on a magnetic board holder. I use a soldering iron, alcohol and a mediator, peeled off the sticker. Next, use a cotton swab to remove the heat conducting substance from the processor. It looks like thermal paste. This phone has a Qualcomm SM7150 processor. Next, you need to remove the protective metal screen. To do this, I solder the protective screen around the perimeter using an alloy, wood's metal, and a soldering iron. This is done to make it easier to remove the protective screen. I removed the protective screen without filming. Installed an aluminum heatsink on the memory chip so as not to overheat it. Next we install a metal partition i.e. additional protection for memory from hot air. We turn on the soldering station, set the temperature of the soldering station to 350 degrees, and begin to remove the processor. We use a special spatula. All tools and equipment will be available in the description under this video. You can follow the links and buy the tool you need. Let's add a little flux. So we remove the processor, and this is what it looks like. I use a toothpick, 
At BGA paste and solder all the contacts on the board with a soldering iron. Be sure to add flux. A black compound also remains on the board. We also clean it with a soldering iron. To simplify cleaning the solder and compound, we also use a hair dryer to additionally heat the board. Next, clean the board from flux using a cotton swab and alcohol. This is the result. Next, we prepare the processor, add flux, also add solder. Use a soldering iron to clean the solder and compound. Next, we use alcohol and clean the gumbo from a cotton swab. This is the result. I prepared the processor for creating balls, so we glue aluminum tape under the processor, and on top we put a special stencil for creating balls. I use this solder mechanic. Using a spatula, Spread solder onto the stencil and hold the stencil with tweezers. Next, we place glass from a Samsung J320 phone on the stencil. This glass is cut from the display. Turn on the soldering station at a temperature of 320 degrees. Fix the glass with tweezers. Use a soldering station to create balls. This is the result. Next, we install the processor on the board. We previously prepared the board. Therefore, we position the processor according to the mark. Turn on the soldering station, set the temperature to 320 degrees and be sure to add flux, and begin to solder the processor. After warming up the board and processor, we check whether the solder on this element has fused. If it moves, then we add flux again. Next, we warm up the board and processor again. After checking element, we push the processor with tweezers. The processor should move and return to its place. This means that we have soldered the processor in place. Next, need to let the board cool down. After the board has cooled down, I assemble the phone. After assembly, we connect the phone to the charger to check the phone's functionality. If the phone charges and turns on, then I did everything correctly. And as we see the MI screensaver on the phone, and then the charging indicator appears, this made me very happy, it means I did everything right. Next without filming I assembled the phone and checked it, everything works fine. Now I'll demonstrate it to you. We turn on the phone, try it and as we see, the touch screen works fine. We try to call. We hear the voice of the network operator. Next, we turn on the camera. As we see, the rear camera works and the front camera works the same way. Next, I show you information about the phone. This was the repair and video instructions on reballing. I hope you liked it. Like it and subscribe to my channel. Bye, everyone.